Y'all see uh, what happened to your boy Rick Ross, rapper Rick Ross up there in Canada. Rick Ross went up there to Canada. He had an appearance up there, and he, um, um, I think after his set or whatever, they he started playing They Not Like Us, and some Canadian goons swooped down on him and his crew. They started putting hands, some of them Canadian goons put hands on Rick Ross and his crew. That was crazy. The Canadians got buck for Drake. They put hands on um, Rick Ross and his crew. They really beat down one of his security guards. Now, and and under one of the videos on Instagram, Drake liked the video. And people are kind of low-key clowning Rick Ross now, but here's the problem. Here is the problem that a lot of people ain't really looking at. With that situation... Do y'all know there's a major green light on Drake in L.A. and Miami now? You know there's a green light on Drake now. Now, some people are kind of trying to explain, like, oh, they these weren't Drake's people. These were fans. Don't matter. Drake liked the video of these dudes swooping down on Rick. So it looked like Drake gave it a cosign. Family? That means there is a double green light on Drake right now. If Drake comes to L.A. or Miami, there's a green light on Drake right now. Cat's going to try to get some get back. This thing has officially spilled over into the damn streets. It has officially crossed a different line now. This is where it gets a little dangerous. This is where it gets dangerous. I think Drake might know that. When they're trying to put hands on folks <clears throat> and, and take this thing to some fisticuffs, these L.A. cats, that's all they need to see. Oh, it's on. Man, I'm saying, and under the, I don't want to see nothing bad happen to nobody, but boy, Drake, I would tell Drake not to come out here. I would tell Drake not to come out here because these cats out here, they they they're waiting for it to go to that level. That's what they 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 like itching for it to go that level. If we take it to the streets, they're like, oh cool, come on out. Let's take it to the streets then. It's gonna go way different than it went in Canada. That's the mindset of the dudes out here. I mean, good, bad, right, or wrong. I'm just telling you the mindset. <clears throat> They're looking at that like, oh, okay. Are we doing that? So yeah, they and we you saw at the BET Awards out here, somebody they ran up on Gunner. Y'all saw that clip? Somebody pushed up on Gunner at the BET Awards. They ran up on him and like, hey man, get up out of here with all that snitch shit, man. All that snitching don't work out here, brother. They just walked up on him inside the BET Awards just to kind of let him know that, hey, man, you, you can get touched anywhere because he wasn't with his security guards or nothing. He, Gunner wasn't with nobody. He was with like a publicist or something. But he was inside the BET Awards where he thought, OK, he was like out there kind of by the red carpet where you know people think, OK, it's safe. Um, now, one of these goons walk right up on him. Y'all saw that? I know y'all saw the video. They're sending a message, man. You can be touched anywhere. Yeah? Unf unfortunately, I, I don't like to see that type of stuff, but that's just the way it is, unfortunately. That's the way it is, unfortunately. So, you know, I hope this thing works out. But, yeah, Drake co-signing that. Uh, uh, I don't I hope that everything is going to be all right. We're going to get some calls in here in a minute, man. We do have a lot of people in here. We're going to get some calls in a minute, ladies and gentlemen. We will get some calls in a second. People are still talking about Biden. They're still trying to figure out what they're going to do with Biden. The Democrats are in a pickle. They don't know what to do with Biden because they know Biden don't really have a chance of winning. Biden, after that debate fiasco, Biden's name is Mud, So they're trying to figure out what to do. The Democratic Party, they're still in disarray right now. They're trying to figure it out. 
because here's the thing. I want y'all to understand how white supremacy works. Um, and this is why I want y'all to understand why the Democrats, and this is what you guys are going to see. You're going to see them really pandering to black people, just like with the BET awards and all of that. They're going to start pandering to us to kind of prop up Biden. Because see, here's the thing. Biden has basically lost his damn mind. He's feeble and senile right now. He, he's lost his mind. Biden's mind is gone. All right. He, his mind is gone. He can't think. And when old white people can't think no more, that means you can't really uphold white supremacy effectively. I want y'all to understand how this game works out here. Because his mind is feeble, he can't really uphold white supremacy like he needs to. So now he might slip up and, you know, because his mind is feeble, this dude, he don't know his ass from a hole in the ground. He might sit up here and sign an executive order or something. Hey, you know what? I'm going to give blacks the reparations tomorrow. You know, he don't, they don't know what he's going to do because his mind is gone. So he can't effectively hold up white supremacy. So this is why white society has basically kicked Biden to the curb. That's why y'all saw after he did that debate, the people were abandoning him in real time. They were like, hey, Biden is done. He needs to step down. Biden needs to get out of here. The white people were abandoning, abandoning his ass in real time. They were throwing him to the curb. You see, if you can't uphold white supremacy like we need you to with a clear mind, you have to know what you're doing in order to maintain this system. You're useless. So they're going to throw him to black folks. So what his handlers are doing, they're going to get all the Negro flunkies because they know that a lot of these Democratic boule Negroes have a plantation mindset. So you're going to see them really surround Biden. And they're already doing it. That's why they had that Juneteenth thing with Billy Porter sitting up here kissing on his hands with his little moist self. They're going to really, really push Biden around a lot of black folks lately. I mean, in the, in the, in the next few months, y'all going to see Biden. Y'all going to see him at fish fries. Y'all going to see him at barbecues. Y'all going to see him at black churches. They're going to really put a lot of these plantation Negroes around Biden. White folks do not like older white people who lost their minds. They're useless. You can't maintain white supremacy. They throw them away. And what do they do? They throw them to black folks. That's why old, when, when white people get old and see now, what do their families do? They put them in a nursing home or they give them a black nurse, right? Them old, feeble white people, you see videos of them. They always got some black caretaker. They send them to black folks. White folks don't, they don't want to be bothered with an old, feeble-minded white person. Yo, this man Rick Ross got his two security guards knocked out in Canada. I think they still sleeping right now. And I didn't even know that Canada had goons like that. But apparently they ain't no regular Canadian citizens. They part of the Hell's Angels. Some international motorcycle group full of people that look like The Undertaker in 2003. I think I seen one of them do the cane uppercut to one of Rick Ross security guards. But yeah, people definitely gonna look at Canada a little different now. And it might be a while before Drake visit Miami or LA again. But yeah, that's all I really got to say about this video. Make sure to leave a like, a subscribe, and comment down below. Follow me on Twitter. That's where I'm the most active and post clips that YouTube probably wouldn't let me post. Yesterday, this Mexican boxer, Ryan Garcia, was on Spaces saying the N-word with a hard ER. I got a clip of that on my Twitter right now. And also, make sure to follow me on Rumble. That's where I post videos in case they get taken down on here.